Thank you. Okay. Wait, wait. Be patient. Be patient. It's stuck. I can't get it. Yeah. Okay, it goes the other way. There. Bomb. This film had to be shot in secret. Officially, Coco was still the zoo's property. The zoo threatened to send the police and recover Coco. Coco, we gotta go home now. Come. Penny Come. refused to give her up. Come. Come. She was ready to run away with Coco or go live with her in a cage at the zoo. In the end, Penny created the Gorilla Foundation, which bought Coco. Then, we went to see the zoo's director. So this is where you think Coco should normally be? Well, she was born here, and yes. She was raised by a mother for a while, but then there were some problems, and the animal was taken away uh, from uh, the adults to be hand-raised because there were some medical problems. But instead of putting them back, they kept her out. And uh, this uh, Penny Patterson uh, wanted to do this project, and she was given permission to do it here at the zoo. Uh, eventually, she wanted to take the animal to Stanford University, and permission was given by one of my predecessors to do that. But the first thing, of course, that struck me was that uh, I wondered whether the animal really knew it was a gorilla. And uh, we, of course, in zoos, attempt to treat them as normal animals and leave them as wild as, as they possibly can be, because that's what I think they should be. That's the way they should be left. But other people have different opinions. And the right thing to do was to take the animal away out of that project and put it in a family of gorillas. But uh, because of a lot of other pressures, it didn't turn out that way, unfortunately. Because the media made it a sort of a cause celeb, so to speak. And it was very difficult for, for me and for the zoo to do anything without looking like a real bad guy. And I'll probably turn out like a bad guy here, too. But uh, that has never bothered me before, so it's not going to bother me now. Would you have called the police to get Coco back? Well, we could have. We could have. We could have been in that position, I guess. Well, legally, it was our... It was, no, it was our right. It's our animal. The director of the zoo claims that you should let Coco be a gorilla and not humanize the gorilla. Well... I think that um, Coco is a, is a gorilla who has been born in the United States mm -hmm. and reared here, not of her own will. I mean, mm -hmm. she, she is, she's in American society. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're using the word human eyes where I would use uh, something like people eyes. I, I see her as an individual and as an individual, she should be treated in, in uh, humanely, as a human. I mean, I think to treat her any other way would be cruel in her present circumstance. Now, in terms of, of they're worried, I think, that she will never breed. What they really mean is they are afraid that Coco will not appreciate her own kind, will think of herself as a, per a person, well, I hope she does, and will, will think of gorillas as something beneath her. Now, we have every reason to believe that she knows she's a gorilla, that she has said so on many occasions and identified pictures, and that she will, it may take a while, begin to socialize with her own kind in a way that would eventually lead to breeding.
Nice, gentle. Oh. Coco, no hitting. Hey, let's be gentle. Be nice. Nice. Gentle. Biting. That's hey, listen to me. Coco, what are you doing to Mikey? Then why do you do it? Don't you bite Michael? No. We'll have to go in if you do it. You want to go inside? He's laughing. He thinks it's fun. We hope to continue the study throughout Coco's lifetime and Michael's lifetime so that we can establish a group or a family of communicating gorillas. Now, this is not far out, a far out idea because right now Coco and Michael are signing to each other regularly, every day, and Coco and Michael have also taught dumb companions by molding them, much in the way they might teach their own children. Coco talks to her do gorilla dolls the way a young child plays dolls, so that you can see the beginnings of the maternal and instinct coming out, and in it is language. The vocal apparatus of primates only allows them to emit cries. Coco has just begun to use a computer that does the talking for her. Every ten minutes for several hours a day, the new machine invites her to its keyboard. Coco, do you want to talk now? <laughs> okay, I'll find some. I'll get one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it. There it is. You okay, you wanna listen? Okay, you listen some more. Apple. Apple. Why don't we say more in English? Apple. Oh more apple, okay. But more cocoa is here. We're going to learn the word for more. Go, go. More. 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 Apple. Right. Does your ear bother you? Right. 